hi and welcome back to cheeky crypto today guys we're going to be diving down into the charts for harmony one taking a look at the price action of the one coin to see exactly what is likely to go on and happen next here in harmony so as we get into this if you find it useful and informative hit the like button really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel make sure you subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and you will not miss another update in the links in the description down below for our discord server if you've not yet jumped on over go ahead and check it out we're down in discord quite a bit you can ask us various different questions and uh, you know basically be able to answer those we also drop down additional technical analysis down in our discord server as well so why not check it out it's completely free check that out down below right with all that said done and out of the way let's jump on down into the desktop and take a look at what's going on here with harmony one okay cool so guys we're going to try to keep this video pretty slick and pretty pretty quick so if i end up talking quite fast which i usually do just dial down uh, the speed on the playback side and you should be fine um, but basically we're going to be taking a look at just a couple of different levels here today so we're going to be taking a look at the daily view and of course we're going to be taking a look at the hourly view to see exactly what's going on right now for, for harmony one so on this daily view we can obviously see that though we had a good pullback here with wave four okay so obviously the highs that were set um, way back in uh what was that like May, march time yeah march um you know down into this low area that we actually achieved in june right so a good kind of pullback here a good accumulation period uh, was had at the bottom again just coming in on our trend line this trend line actually goes back to, to february 2020 uh, we also had the breakthrough it here, um, pushing up, then pulling back down, back testing on that trend line. It's actually held up quite well for us. Um, obviously, in here, we can see the cup and handle formation. Uh, this is something that actually started forming up in May of 2021, uh, pulling down into these lower areas, coming back up here uh, in this higher zone in September, pulling back in September, completing the handle, and of course, pushing up uh, with the completion of the cup and handle up to the 34 cent area. Okay, so from there, obviously, we've had some pretty interesting stuff. We obviously this high all-time high we led into an abc move to the downside okay and again there's many different ways to kind of count this so we're going to keep it as simple as we can it's a big abc here and um, of course if you want to you can acknowledge that there is also an a a b and a c inside of there as well okay so obviously we can see the bigger macro picture this time around um, when you take a look at it from you know after the event um, but during this actual kind of pullback we would have acknowledged that there's an A there's a B and then there's a C and then of course we have the ABC up and then we have this ABC down now that ABC down did actually tend to uh, to go quite deep and uh, much deeper than you would expect it to normally kind of go right big ABC to the downside that actually completes our C wave here and uh, you know when we actually measure out uh, the distance of our A wave on this one um, up to that high point and we push that over into our b wave high here we can see that we fell short of that 1.382 right really important that we understand that the bigger picture here because when we actually take a look at it from uh, this perspective and we actually take a look at the a wave and then we push this down into our b wave uh, high uh, we can actually see that again we fell just short of that 1.382 so really important that we understand that we didn't go impulsive down it was just a small short-term correction on this daily chart with an abc no matter how you where you no matter how you want to count it and um, whether you want an abc here abc here abc down um, or one big abc move entirely up to you how you want to kind of count it but ultimately you get to the same result down here is the bottom of a c wave right and um, this is important because as we kind of zoom in on this we can start to see some interesting kind of motions here now i know a lot of people are hopefully kind of excited thinking that there's a cup and handle pattern forming here i don't think that's exactly what's going on uh, with our daily chart okay obviously we have that kind of curvature um to this one here but there wasn't actually a decent handle that formed so i don't think that's actually what's occurring here although i think there was the the ability to see this actually happen but you know with cup and handle patterns they're, they're not that accurate um 65 percent or so um, and then obviously uh, most of the time you know they do actually come in but you know the other half uh, or the other 35 uh, percent uh, they you know they don't actually come in so um obviously i think we've deviated away from that we didn't get the handle in and then we're starting to see that push to the upside but what else is actually going on here on this daily chart there's a few fibs in here i'm going to actually um keep this a little bit clean i'm going to remove those for a sec okay we'll leave this one in as uh, so i think that's probably something to do with our hourly chart um but here we can obviously see you know a good push to the upside and abc we actually had a double top um just up here this led, led us down into an abc down abc and we had this good run to the upside here afterwards okay so and what's really interesting about this is there's a nice steady flow um coming in here now down here is actually a triangle on our hourly chart we'll get into that but basically you know down triangle uh upline triangle right very simple stuff 
um and we'll show that in the in the uh the hourly um but obviously you know we obviously have the break to the upside here and again as long as we follow the uh elliot theory the rules uh we should be looking pretty good um and we are right now we're actually tracking pretty reasonably well um up at uh, 27 and a half cent right so pretty good now the other thing that's really important to understand is that stochastic rsi on our daily chart is heavily overbought it's been overbought um pretty much since uh, the first the 17th of december okay so we've been up here for a few days now now it's not unheard of we can be up here for quite some time um but you know at some point we are going to be looking for correction okay so right now we can obviously acknowledge on our daily chart if we are to talk about this being a, a double bottom and we are starting to see this traction to the upside then we actually have a look at we have uh a bit of an abc pool here and if we measure the distance on our a wave this is going to be very rough but we'll get an idea um we are heading up to and very close to um completing the c wave the one for one ratio right now we're actually getting it rejected on that 786 if we can get closed above that 786 on this daily then we could potentially ride this up towards that uh, 29.3 cent area approximately completing out that c wave just up at the next resistance level um, but where it is right now is an area of resistance that has been tested many times before and um, so it's also a good turning point so do watch out for that um, after a pretty decent run to the upside now it's at this point I'm going to just quickly clean that up off of the daily chart we're going to jump into our hourly and um, like I said we want to try to keep this video pretty slick um, so here is a few things I think are really important that we understand that's going on right because uh, we actually have the Elliott wave triangle right here's uh, an example of one uh, it played out uh, you know mid kind of um december and then we saw this break to the upside a big abc move lots of abcs inside of it uh, abc down break to the abc up and then of course we're still tracking this nicely to the upside here's a, a good push right here for example as we completed the c wave and uh, you know arguably you know maybe even potentially going a little bit longer so if we actually take that measurement of our a wave here and we'll go ahead and throw that on our b wave low we can see that actually yeah we, we've kind of come in on the standard c wave um so you know we can see a bit of a pullback we'll have to get into the detail on this as to see whether or not um you know that's actually a correction or we actually have continuation so we'll get into that in a moment um, but this was focusing on this because this is the Elliott wave triangle so as the on that daily chart we said there's the potential of something forming on um, a cup and handle kind of pan um actually what you see is an elliott wave triangle and then obviously you see the explosion of that without actually really forming a handle as such and um, so here is one over here right we see this just this side but there was also one over here that led us to the all-time high okay so these elliott wave triangles have actually appeared a few times on um harmony i think they had another one somewhere i can't find it but um but yeah basically harmony one has been painting these uh these elliott wave triangles and they've been working really really well and um, so we actually push this right up here and uh, right now yeah we want to measure this distance so let's actually check out to see what's going on here is there an actual correction inside this uh section of our chart uh, right here so we have the high uh, we pull back yeah there's one exactly right there so um we actually have a very very small a b and c and then you get a double bottom just at the here and then this basically triggers um our move to the upside so again now we are tracking slightly larger an a wave a b wave low and a c wave high now here's your double top uh, triple top in fact okay so again another bearish signal if i just move that c wave out of the way grab our horizontal ray and um, so right there is your reversal point as you get this triple top and um, if we measure the distance on our a wave we'll just make sure that we actually aligned to where we think and it should have actually gone to and uh, we actually overextended which isn't too bad so again you know coming up to this point we booked higher but we didn't actually close above it and we start to see the reversal and we start to see the pullback and um, so pretty much a good exp uh, area there to expect to pull back here you can actually see the stochastic rsi coming down from this overbought area down in towards our oversold so we're going to get that continuation after a small abc here and um, so again what we're actually looking for here is this a we get a double bottom we hit the top with the b wave and we're still waiting for that c wave but actually we're starting to see this push back up again and um, so i would be inclined to say that actually we've got a couple of things here we might actually see this can more of a continuation and that c wave never actually come down much lower than than where it actually has come or we might just come down a tad lower um, than we were previously what i'm going to do is grab another horizontal ray though and we're going to put it right in here so you can see that this is a continuation pattern bouncing between two key areas i'm going to remove the abc for now and see how that one plays out and um, the expectation might be that actually we stay inside this little area here for a few more hours and then we get another big uh, abc move to the upside again in 
line with our expectations of what are going on in the bigger picture. Okay, so as I zoom back out again, we can see continuation just here in a similar way that we kind of saw continuation in a few other spots before we actually got some good uh, kind of uh, traction to the upside. For example, here's another continuation area at the bottom of wave E before we actually started to see that real good push to the upside. Now, obviously, when it comes to Elliott Wave Triangles, there's a few rules that we have to stick to. Uh, we have to have two touch points on our descending trend line. We have to have um, two touch points on the ascending trend line. And of course, there should be clear ABC moves inside all of these waves okay and then obviously you start to see the break from there so harmony one's doing incredibly well i think it's going to continue um but we are obviously quite aware that we are going to need some form of correction on our daily chart at some point to wipe out that stochastic rsi it doesn't show any sign of stopping at the moment so do watch out for that i do think there is something that is likely to occur uh, in the very near future though on harmony one that's going to just correct us and um, as we are you know pushing up pretty nicely at the moment it would be something like this should do the job a little bit of a pullback nice abc move and then we we'll get that push back to the upside i think uh, in the new year so overall everything's looking very very good on harmony one guys i wanted to give you guys a brief update with what i'm seeing inside the charts on harmony one and um, it's all looking very good uh, hopefully the portfolios are starting to get a little bit more recovery in there now um, on some of these altcoins like v chain harmony one etc and, and have been performing quite well recently so guys if you have found this video useful and informative hit the like button i really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel then do go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at cheeky crypto with this said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one